Welcome to the RE department. My name is Mr McGowan. Before I get into the details of our A-level course, I just want to give you an idea of some of our past pupils who have studied A-level RE and what they're doing now. We have Connor Brogan, uh, who is uh, currently working in business and IT. Niall Sludden, who plays for Tyrone and is currently a teacher. And Ryan McGuire, who went on to study economics and achieved a PhD in economics. Ryan Kelly, who went on to become a medical doctor. Niall Slevin, a pharmacist. And Damon Rogers, who went into software development. The reason why I mention these past pupils is because some people think that A-level RE is just for people who are going to go into a very focused profession, like religious life. But as you can see, there are many pupils who've gone into a wide variety of careers and occupations, and RE help them along the path. This year, we're launching our new A-level course, Foundations of Ethics, with special reference to issues in medical ethics. We know that many of our year 12 pupils enjoy studying issues like abortion and euthanasia, and that's why we are launching this new course this year. Now, the first topic sounds very complicated, deontological approaches to moral decision making. But it's basically trying to answer this question. When I make a moral decision, am I basing it on something like the Bible, the Ten Commandments and the teachings of Jesus? Or am I basing my moral decisions on something else? And that leads on to the second topic, teleological approaches to moral decision making. And it's basically this. Do I make my decisions based on consequences? So if my action has good consequences, is it a good action? And some of the, the examples that we'll get into whenever we study that, for example, a man wants help to die. Is it right to help him to die because he is going to have for him a good consequence? Then we get into other life and death issues uh, like abortion and euthanasia. And we study those in greater depth than you would have in year 12. In developments in bioethics, we again study topics like IVF in greater detail. And whenever we come to other aspects of human experience, uh, we're looking at things like, should moral decisions and religious people influence laws? So for example, because many Christians believe abortion is wrong, should a country make it illegal? Over the years, many of our pupils have performed very well in the Celtic Church in Ireland, and that's why we've decided to keep this part of the course. So when we look at something like the arrival of Christianity in Ireland, we're looking at questions like, were the Christians here before St. Patrick? And what do we really know about St. Patrick? When we look at Celtic monasticism, we're looking at people like Enda and Bridget and Congo, who formed and founded famous monasteries throughout Ireland. And how did these monasteries influence Irish life? When we look at a topic like the Celtic penitentials, we look at, for example, at the writings of Colin Bannis. And what does he have to say about sin and forgiveness? Celtic hagiography is all about how other people wrote about our saints. So how did other people write about the life of Bridget and Patrick, for example? And when we come to other aspects of human experience, we look at issues like, 
the importance of forgiveness and reconciliation in today's world. So the important question, how will you be assessed? Well, basically, you'll have two exams, one in ethics, one in the Celtic Church. Both exams last for one hour and 20 minutes, and both of them make up 50% of your AS course. When you move on to A-level in year 14, your ethics course then focuses on global ethics and your Celtic Church course focuses on the Celtic Church, the Reformation and post-Reformation. And at the end of year 14, you will have two exams. Each of them will last for two hours and that is how you will be assessed for your A-level. I started this presentation having a look at some specific past pupils who've moved on to a variety of careers. As you can see from the list in front of you, it's quite a long list and a wide variety of careers that people who studied A-level RE have moved on to pursue. We will give you the thinking skills you need for these careers. We will give you the writing skills, the talking and listening skills. Most importantly, we'll give you the qualification you need and the confidence you need to pursue your chosen career. Join the A-Level RE class and help us to help you.